you guys showed so much love on the last video i had to come back with a part two here is a whole lot of mora secrets for starfield let's get into it a whole lot of mora who in the world <laughs> outpost you can actually use outposts to get a lot of xp with only iron and aluminum extractors you can make adaptive frames and farm you can farm until your fingers hurt it's easy money and it's easy XP. But let's level up that idea just a little bit more with this next tip. Zoology outposts. Zoology outposts are for all of those people who are tired of spamming adaptive frames. A zoology outpost is a little bit more difficult than a regular outpost. And here's why. You're going to need to jump into your skills tab and drop down into the science tree. Make sure you grab the research methods, the zoology, and outpost engineering at least rank one of each of these once you have those go hop into a research lab terminal go down to outpost engineering and research everything there is to know about the decimation section from there you're going to have access to a brand new item that you can build in your outpost and this is going to spawn in all of the fauna that you found on that planet but just before you're able to do this, you actually need to find the perfect planet. What I suggest is find a planet that has a decent to low amount of fauna and then create your zoology outpost. The higher the level of the planet, the more experience you'll get when you take these fauna out. So try to create a circular zone to keep all of your fauna in this one location. Climb to the rooftop and shoot them up. Once you've taken them all out and they're not spawning in fast enough, rest at a bench for about 48 hours, hop back on the roof, and get to pew-pewing. Game difficulty. Is the game just too damn easy for you right now? I mean, a lot of us have been playing it and ain't nobody really pulling up on us. So if you want all the smoke, raise the difficulty. That will also increase the quality of loot that you get for the rest of the game. Why not get the best loot for your time invested? Starship design is locked behind level. Bet you didn't know that. No, seriously. Even if you have all the ranks of the Starship design tree, the game still is not going to give you access to some of the best items that you can design your ships with. These items are locked behind different thresholds of your actual character level. So once your character reaches level 30, 50 or 60, you will start unlocking even more impressive or better ship parts for your next build design. Crew is gold. I'm gonna come out with a more detailed guide to really get into the nitty gritty on how the crew works in this game because it's a system in itself. However, for this video, I'm gonna give you a couple of easy tips and secret tricks that you probably didn't know. Right now, currently in the game, Sarah Morgan is a free crew member. She has a couple of skills that share the same name as you, but they don't share the same abilities as you. For example, the leadership skill. Right now, currently in the game, I think the leadership skill is giving Sarah the ability to increase your crew members for your ship by one because you can actually have her as a crew member as well as the original three members of the crew that's already set to the base game. This might get patched out later, so if it does, I'll let you know down in a pinned comment below. But for right now, hey, Sarah Morgan is more than just wifey. Another skill that Sarah Morgan has is botany. For you, botany allows you to get a whole bunch of different items from the planets that you visit. However, botany for her will allow that NPC to give you common or uncommon organic resources from planets. The geology skill will allow that NPC to give you common or uncommon inorganic resources from the planet. The gastronomy skill is going to allow that NPC to give you different types of food items, so on and so forth. So some of these companions might be like the end all be all. For you being the next Sanji for your spaceship. For all you One Piece fans, you know what it is. 
the science robotics labs are lit. No, seriously, if you go into a science robotics lab, you're probably going to bump into some spacers or pirates, and the encounter is kind of difficult. However, you can make it that much easier by walking up the catwalk, hopping on the terminal, and hacking the robot downstairs. You can actually turn that robot into your own companion, and he'll fight alongside you. Once he helps you take out all the enemies in the encounter, make sure you don't forget your loot and the legendary chest in the back. And here's a bonus tip. There's actually a magazine in the break rooms of each of the science robotics labs. So don't miss out on a permanent upgrade for your character. Cheesing loot. Look, I'm not your mother and I'm not gonna tell you how to play your game, but if you wanna get some of the best perks and stats on the items before you loot the crate, then quick save. Quick save the game, reload, and then try to roll for some of the best stats and get that godlike item straight from the beginning of the game. Don't leave weapons behind. You might have walked past a thousand weapons laying on the floor or sitting in lockers all over the game. But did you know that if you pick up those weapons, it actually adds the ammo that was inside them to your inventory? Ammo is weightless, so you have nothing to lose and it gives you a little bit more firepower for your pew pew. With all that extra ammo that you just picked up from the last tip, why not sell it? Selling all the ammo that you're not using, I mean it's weightless not taking up space, but why not give you some credits? A lot of this ammo you'll never use because those guns are not even in your arsenal. With that being said, take all that ammo and sell it for a stack of credits. That might be the exact amount of credits you need for the next ship part for your next build. And another tip. A lot of us who are creating different types of ships in the game will realize that when we make a ship our home ship or that when we finish creating a ship, all of the cargo and everything that was on that ship will automatically dump into our miscellaneous tab, which takes up a hell of a lot of space in your cargo. You can either use the jettison to completely delete all of those items or why not sell it because it's just a whole bunch of free credits that you can get. Do you want to Han Solo your way through the entire game? If you're having trouble persuading some of the characters in the game, then at least get rank 2 in the persuasion skill. And then, I'm pretty sure there's two items in your inventory right now that is going to give you the edge you need. One of these items is called Hippolata. Hippolata, Hippolita, Hippolata, Hippolata, Hippa something. The Hippolata is going to be something that you can drink and it's going to stack on top of the increased chance that you've already gotten from the skill tree. With that being said, if you have rank 2 of this skill tree, you're at 20%. And with this Hippolata, you just went to 40%. There's also another item in your inventory that you might have right now. It's called the Paw More. The Paw More is going to stack this even higher. So now you got the Silver Tongue to get yourself out of almost any encounter. Helium 3 Outpost. If you want to travel a little bit further out in space with that grav drive, then finding different planets that have Helium 3 on them, placing down some outposts with instructors is going to be the answer for you. With all of these outposts that have Helium 3 on them, you'll be able to get just a little bit more distance when you travel through these systems. So you can travel even further through these systems without stopping. Now that's a tip. And for the last tip, I know this sounds redundant, but you're going to thank me when it happens. Save often. This game is the best, most optimized Bethesda game ever created. Yeah, yeah that, that, mm, that moment of silence spoke numbers. But no, seriously, it crashes like every 22 seconds or anytime you sneeze for that matter. Especially when you start creating outposts or building your own ships. So save as often as possible to make sure that you don't miss out on all of that progress that you just spent countless hours on. You'll thank me later. Trust me. Doing this video alone and trying to get all of this footage for you guys, the game crashed 11 times. <laughs> so yeah, that way.
And if you made it this far in the video, you're amazing. Consider subscribing as well as liking the video to help out my channel. I'm so close to reaching a thousand subs and that's only because you guys are absolutely amazing. I really appreciate all the support and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. This has been your boy M of M Sensei HD. For now, I'm out of here.